the fields of general bad stuff with monsters everywhere because for some reason they are just are everywhere. <coughs> avoid them and that Let's get up this way the map says it's up this way there we go here we are all aboard Back on the Starflight Express, nice. It's very, uh, very dark in here. No lights. So here we are on the Starflight. What do you reckon? She's pretty swish, isn't she? I like to jazz her up a bit more, actually. It's still a bit on the plain side in here, wouldn't you say? Not really, no. <coughs> Pink rhinestones with gold around them. No. <coughs> I cannot take this, this stupid fairy seriously. I really can't. What? Not bothered about my amazing interior design ideas, eh? I suppose you just want to get going, do you? Fine, fine. No more hanging about. I'm pretty keen to get back on the observer to the observatory and see how everything's going myself. Here we go then. It's takeoff time. Just, just, just go. There's an issue. Nice. It's a bit more than we expect to believe there are Celestrians. Can't just lose their head and then we get snipped. No! Don't get in your knickerbockers in a twist. I was only saying. Anyway, we don't have time for this. The Almighty won't be best pleased if we hang around here with this big stuff going on. Oi, Almighty, mate. You listening? We're in the right old jerk in here. Why don't you just give us a flapping hand? That's weird. He's probably too busy to notice us or something. Alright then. What we'll do is we'll follow this road to that store wait, store my place. When we get there, we'll help lots of people and we should get lots of benevolence. That should make the almighty old prick his eyes up. Ah, look at your face. Not too swayed over the, over by the idea or something. Well, tough turkey. I've decided that's what we're doing, so get moving. Right, so we have to go to Stormway. Hopefully they've cleared the rocks of the rock fall so we can get through the pass now. And don't have to go all the way back through the hexagon. That's not something I want to be doing right now. Are we through? We are. What can we find? Some goo, some ooze, another orange slime. Ah, I'm gonna get away, nice. <laughs> A winch that draws near, fight, attack. 14 damage, that's alright. Two damage. Attack him back. Another 14 and he's dead. Nice. We're about to see one of my favourite things about this game. When we get into Stormway, that is. We have to go to Erin's Inn. And then you will see. Here we go. Welcome to Stormway. All the buildings are really small. I almost whacked my head on the castle gate when I came in. Ah, it's chasing a dog. Hey Erin, what's up? Not nervous are you, honey? I'm afraid so. I just can't see how a young girl like me can suddenly take over such a big important inn. But surely everyone else will be thinking exactly the same thing. Sure, maybe they will. But I trust my instincts, and, I, and you should too. I know you've got what it takes, Erin. Seriously, just quit worrying. If you say so. Now time to introduce you to your new colleagues. Erin and Patty have made it, that's good. That's good. This should be a good laugh. Let's follow him and see how Erin gets on. We're supposed to be helping people and this fairy just wants to see how things are going. Honestly Patty, what were you thinking? This slug of a girl is going to run the inn, is she? We're on the brink of closing it, is you trying to finish her off? Jeez, Ginny, will you calm down? Do you think I'd just pick any any young thing off the street to run this place? Erin may not look much, but she's got inkeeping in her blood. She'll she'll have us back on track before you can say welcome. 
Didn't you say the same thing about me when you brought me here? And didn't you say you were you were going off to find this one guy who can save this place for certain? No offence, but I'm not convinced this is the guy you were talking about. Please, just give me a chance. You won't find anyone who will try harder than me, and I'll learn. I, and I learn all there is to know about innkeeping from my father. So your father was an innkeeper too, and I suppose you're here to make it daddy proud of him. Well, that's uh, very admirable, but running an inn isn't as easy as just turning up and promising to try hard. You can talk all you like about how much your father taught you, but we don't even know who your father was. There it is, the challenge we've been waiting for. Now's the time to show her, honey. Um, show her. Oh, you mean this? And then the, the, she, she just raises the trophy thing in the air, and Ginny's having a stroke already. The Inny for the incredible entertaining awarded by none other than our very own King Scott. Well, now you tell me you doubt how good he was, and Erin here shades the same in incredible blood, not all. For God's sake, these are stolen in puns. Why are they bowing to her? Get off the floor! Why, why are they bowing? This is stupid. <laughs> Hello, I'm here. Oh Josh, you came with you just like you said you would. And so is Toon. I'm afraid we've only got arrived ourselves, so we're not ready to take any guests yet. Hey, don't sweat it, sweetie. I'm sure Josh didn't come to say. I bet you came because you were worried about Erin, huh? And you wanted to see how she was getting on, right? And you just want to help a girl out. But you know the first you don't but you don't know the first thing about innkeeping, that's about it. Yeah, well what if I told you there was something you could do to help her out? And Patty, what are you saying? From what I've seen, you and Josh got a knack for encountering all kinds of people by chance. If he tried to draw a bit, a bit of business for us, I bet we'd have a full house in no time. I think we can't ask Josh to do something like that. The inn isn't anything to do with him. Hey, making people feel like they want to help you out is, is an act too, honey. You should be glad you've got it. If Josh got nothing better to do, it feels like lending a hand. Don't turn him away. We can do with the help. Yes, I suppose you're right. Do you think you might be able to help out a little bit, Josh? Sure. I must admit, I've often noticed how people always seem drawn to you. Thanks Josh, I really do appreciate it. Right, let's go and, and drum up some some things. What's in the well? Oh, nice chest. Linen gloves, right. Let's, let's, let's see how good these linen gloves are. Uh, hands, we've got nothing equipped. And it brings my deafness up. I don't know what deafness does. What does deafness do? I really don't know. There we go. Get up here. Oh, there's another, another like, staircase over here. <laughs> I'm not going to speak to him. No, what, what do you want? You see those two treasure chests over there? Do you know the difference? Oh, leave me alone. I don't need to know. It's that's about multiplayer and things. Don't need to worry about that. <coughs> A big lump of lamb's wool. What else have we got in here? Four gold coins. Five gold coins. Let's head back up. What's it? Look, the chest, the chest everywhere. A mini medal, nice. I think we can give them to uh, some guy at some point. Uh, so back in the inn. Oh, look, they're ready. I drummed up business. Oh, that's about online. Right, my favourite thing about the game. Let's go. This is it. Guess it's time for me to show you what I can do, huh? Hey there, did I welcome you to Patty's party planning? My party planning place already. This is the place to hook up with new adventurers. Call up a friend. So these are people we've got waiting in the wings. We don't want them. We're going we're to recruit a friend. Apply for a new party member, huh? What kind of person are you looking for? And then we can... We can get extra people to help us on the adventure. First of all, we'll get a priest, because they're good. We'll get a male priest, quite small. Uh, what kind of hair do you want? I don't know what kind of hair we should give. All the way this way. Blue red. How many eyes have you got? That one. That skin colour. Blue 
eyes. All main. Okay. Uh, oh, Horus. Horus the priest. <laughs> nice. Add, add this character to your character list, yes. Yep, bring Horus with me. And here he is. Horus, nice. Who else do we need? So we've got Horus, the priest. Uh, we don't need anyone near them. Right. The priest, a friend. The priest, ma mages are pretty useful. We'll grab a mage. We'll have a female mage. But that's all. Uh, with that one. With. Should we go with blue hair or brown hair? We should probably go with brown. Does she have her eyes open there? Yeah, that's funny. Let's go with that one. Let's go with open her eyes. <coughs> Does eye colour change anything? No, right. In that case, she's got red eyes. Uh, and we'll call her. Uh, Kate. Kate. Yeah, that's what we'll do. No, Kara. That, that, that's what we'll go with. Yeah, we'll summon the mage. There we go. Who else do we need? Don't want any of them. Unless we want to take Edwin, the martial artist, with us. That could be pretty funny. Should we do that? Yeah, let's do that. We'll, we'll, we'll bring out Edwin. This guy. We've all got weird coloured hair. Apart, apart from Kara, we've all got really weird coloured hair. Nice. And that's the limit. So we now have four extra people that can come around with us and help us fight. And Patty told me I have to egg on follow members. Nice. Okay, and what we'll do is we'll do this. And we miss tactics. So obviously I'm going to control my own. So instead of follow orders for Horus, we'll focus on healing. Kara can fight wisely and Edwin show no mercy. We'll put Horus and Kara at the back. And that should be that with them, I think. Should we go out and try and fight something in the wilderness and see see how how the team does? The new, the new squadron. What's that? Let's pick this up. A pouch of coagulants. Nice. Ah, right. Okay. Well, we're going to fight now, anyway. Let's see how this goes. Right, so I am going to attack this guy. 12. Nice. Carl has been hit. Edwin's been hit. Is that Horace? Oh, Horace has just stabbed someone. Nice. So I'll hit this guy. He's going to hit Kara again. Nice. That went quite well, I think. It's good. good party diamond. Good party dynamic, that. Right, let's do a bit more fighting. I'm enjoying fighting with the, with the group. <coughs> there we go. Let me attack the she slime. Nice. There we go. Car is like, using magic. That's oh wow. I know that's fair. And he's healed Kara. Nice. Nice. So yeah, the part of the party dynamic dynamic works quite well. Edwin's level two. Kara's level two. And now Horace is level two as well. Good. Brilliant. So I think I'm gonna end end the episode off here, guys. Uh, now we've got to Stormway and we've got our, our party of people that will be travelling around with us and helping us in fights. 
that. And, and yeah, and it's just, just gone night time as well. That's good. So yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like, which is down below. Subscribe, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you very much. Adios.